Um, which is amazing that he can play a fighting game as well as he has been in these tournaments and is 12 years old. Because yes. he's kept good composure and everything. And guys, please keep in mind this is 3 out of 5. Do not forget that for the winner's side. Loser's side is 2 out of 3. Winner's mm -hmm. side is 3 out of 5. Except for, like, know. loser's final. Um, that can go back to 3 out of 5. Um, what is grand finals? Uh, grand finals is still going to be 3 out of 5. Oh, everything's 3 out of 5. Yeah, right? everything's pretty much 3 out of 5, except the normal loser's side, which is going to be 2 out of 3. Oh, okay. But, like, loser's final, that'll be 3 out of 5. Because we'll Shout stream that. To, uh, Akuma and... Uh, Wendy and all of them. It looks like we're gonna Wendy's like, I'm leaving? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, okay, so Roland's gonna be using Shaolin, which I think, I love this character. I'm terrible at playing it, so I, that's why I really like it. Oops. Catches him with the Shaolin. What is it? Shotgun. Yep. Oh, goes overhead. Nice block. But, uh, Uferring is in some trouble. I wouldn't have spent that meter because we're just about to die. Um, but maybe he can make something happen. Maybe he can make something happen. With a dream and a prayer. Okay, he's gonna check the nickels. Oh, okay. Well, it makes him spend the meter. They're kind of even going into, going into this, so. Oh, nice. oh wow. Great convert. Oops, catches him. Nice anti-air. That's such a good anti-air. It really is. It covers so much space. Good combo. I love. I like seeing the uh, the arrow combos, and that was a flawless. How do for some reason? Wow. I guess he didn't get the requirements for that one. <laughs> yeah, because that normally is a brutality, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Pay your respects. This. There we go. Wow, that was <laughs> pretty decisive first round. I uh, I don't want to be biased, but I hope Nick uh, pulls it together. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with that. I think I think as a commentator, you're allowed to pick someone that you want to play as, or you want not play as, but you want to win. It gives you more of a reason to cheer and get all hyped up. Well, That's my feeling. <laughs> I think bi uh, commentators should uh, not be biased. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, like, it's not like they're swaying the crowd. Like, as long as you keep it from that, you're okay. Alright, okay, Nick is going with Leatherface. Uh, the killer variation has a, an unblockable chainsaw. I think all of the Leatherface variations have restand. Leatherface is interesting. Um, I know Guncho, uh, was, he picked up Leatherface. So and, uh, did, um... Wound. Wound is also using Leatherface? Wound is also playing some Leatherface, some pretty lady. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, that makes sense. Because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Leatherface is... You forget about pretty lady half the time, actually. Yeah. Oh, there's um, the unblockable. Oh, but God, he got clipped by the dive kick. The first uh, start up. Already? Round two. Fight. You know, I wouldn't have thought of it before, but I I would have to probably give Relentless the Dark Horse in this tournament. He's played so consistent throughout like these weeks. Um and he hasn't really made it to a finals, he's made it to a couple semis and stuff, but like he just you know, you don't really think about him when you're thinking about this top eight in my opinion, but he's dangerous. He's He's been very consistent throughout this whole thing, and I think he can he can possibly pull off some pretty incredible stuff. Yeah, he's, really... he's already uh, you know up a game here, and he's looking very strong. And yeah. uh, it looks like he's going to take uh, the match unless you can get something started. Uh, you fouling out of meter. Uh, the other face really needs the meter too, right? and that's going to close out the second match. Kung Jin wins. Pay your respects. Throne defended. Sanix is 14. That's what, that's what some of the guys are saying. <laughs> is he? It's the prize coloring books. <laughs> Kung Jin. <laughs> that could be why they're not 
out of tournaments, in theory, right? Baron Black. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, uh, Kur Kuratatsu made a good point saying, um, if it was Honeybee versus a Yomi member, would I not be biased? Absolutely, you would. <laughs> I would be. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We both would be. Yeah. We both would be. Alright, looks like, um, he switched. is going back to... Gunslinger. Gunslinger. Fight. So that should be very Okay, if he can try to zone a bit more, I think he might do a little better. But, um, the Levis is all over him now with Shaolin. As I'm stuck in the corner, it's looking bad for you, Flooring. Oh, man. Off of those, um, aerials, uh, comes in has some pretty dirty mix ups. Oh, absolutely. Alright. It's getting it's getting to that point. <laughs> it's getting a little scary. Round two. Fire. For euphoring. Yeah. I'm I'm not actually sure if euphoring is taking around. round. Yeah, I actually think you're right. Yeah, relentless is being Yeah, I don't need to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it took a second to sink in, but <laughs> Wow, man, anti-airs anti are incredible. Keeping pressure on, sending mix-ups. Like oh man, jumps right over the top. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Yep. Good. Wow. Alright. Well, we'll see you for it. Oh yeah. It's not the end. This never is. So, uh, does that mean Sanix will be fighting Relentless later on? Uh, you mean you're foring fighting S uh, Sanix? Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah. I'm in Savage. Relentless Fighting Savage? Yes. Yes, that will be up on the winner's side. 